Hi everyone, Anita here. Welcome to my channel. Today I'll be doing a dark floral mani for you. I'm going to start with my base coat and this is a one coater from Essie. This one's called Licorice. I love this black. I use it all the time. All the other nails are dry except the one that I'm polishing now. And look, it's glossy, it's shiny, it's opaque in one coat. Really a great polish. I do use this quite a lot in my black manis. Over this, I'm gonna put this Funky Fingers topper. I get my Funky Fingers polishes at five below. They're usually three for $5, you can't beat that price. They have such a huge variety every time I go there. I haven't been in a while because I'm running out of places to put my polishes. I'm gonna to have to come up with a solution. If you guys have any suggestions, I haven't even counted them. I don't know how many I have, but it's a lot. And I have to do more than what I'm doing now because I need to buy more. Now, once this polish is dry, I'm just gonna give it a top coat with a fast drying top coat. I use Sesh Feet, whichever brand you like. Just give it a nice topping because I'm prepping this for stamping. If this is your first time visiting my channel, thank you so much and welcome. If you guys like what you see, just hit the subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything. And if you click the bell icon, you'll be notified every time I upload a video and that's once a week. Now I'm gonna be using different images from this beautiful flower power plate. And this is from OU London. I will have all of the products in the description box as usual for you guys if you wanna check that out. And what I'll do here is just remove some of the design just to make it a little cleaner. And you see the polish is dry fast. It's hot in the room here. And these are clear jelly stamper and it, they dry pretty quickly anyway. So I'm just gonna put a coat of Orly Bonder on my nail. And this is just going to make it tacky so that my stamping comes out flawlessly. So I'm gonna move on to the center nail here and I'm just gonna take parts of this flower. I could have put lip liquid latex on, but the over stamping was like just such a little bit that it's really pretty easy just to clean up with a cleanup brush. So by the time I got the latex on, I could have just stamped it and cleaned it up. These plates are really, really well etched. You get beautiful detail from uh, Moya London plates. I love them. Now for this one, you're gonna see that once I have it stamped on, there's just a little bit missing at the very tip of the nail. And I'll be filling that in later with a liner brush and some nail polish. For this one, I'm just gonna change it up a little bit. This Manny, if you guys wanna see the original, is actually the header for my homepage here on YouTube. So when you guys finish with the video, if you go to my homepage, which is my uh, channel page, you'll see this Manny in the banner, the original. I might keep it up for maybe another week and then I think I'll change it to this one because I really love the way this one came out. So here I am, I'm just gonna fill in the bottom like I told you earlier. I was using stamping polish originally and it dried so fast that I just went in and got another white. This one is a Funky Fingers as well. This one stamps too, by the way. And I'm just gonna fill in the design at the bottom a little bit. Now I'm just going to be applying the contrasting color that I use for the centers of the flowers. So you're just going to remove the excess around the center as best you can without taking off too much. I think I had to do each one of these two, maybe three times to not remove too much polish because it does dry pretty quickly. So I found that the quicker you can get the polish off after you pick it up, the, uh, the better result you'll get because it dries pretty quickly. I'm using that nice big clear jelly stamper. Oh no, in fact, that's a queen. Yeah, that's a queen stamper that I have there, nice and clear, so that I can see exactly where I'm placing that on my nail. 
This stamper, in fact, is really nice. It's nice and firm, but still has enough give to it. It doesn't really distort your image when you put it on your nails. Some stampers, if they're really too soft, will give you a little bit of a distortion on your on your image once you stamp it on your nail. This one was really reasonable. I picked it up at Walmart. So you know, some of you guys who are just getting into nail art, check out Walmart. They have plates and they have stampers. So it is something just to kind of get you started if you're not sure. Be patient with yourself and practice, practice. This one has a little bit of give to it too as far as like stretching just a little bit to get your images where you want them. That's this one done. What I'm gonna do now is just put on a no smear top coat before I put on my glossy top coat, which is my sesh feet again. You guys use whichever brand of no smear you like best. And that's this one done. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Please leave me a comment. I love to read them. I hope you guys had a great weekend. Enjoy your week to come. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.